And nobody respects women more than I do. Nobody I, respects women more than I do. Now, I have great respect for women. My, my daughter, Ivanka, always says, Daddy, nobody respects women more than you, Daddy. I respect women. I love women. I cherish women. Lightweight Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, a total flunky for Chuck Schumer, and someone who would come to my office begging for campaign contributions not so long ago, brackets, and would do anything for them, is now in the ring fighting against Trump, very disloyal to Bill and crooked used. And on the 12th day of Christmas, the president gave to thee a sexist ass tweet laced with misogyny. Yeah, that was the President of the United States basically insinuating that Senator Kirsten Gillibrand would offer sexual favours in return for campaign donations. I mean, we shouldn't be surprised, but it doesn't make it any less disgusting. It's not exactly out of left field for the pussy grabber who, despite claims he loves women, has a well-documented history of being a smug, misogynistic, tiny-handed creep. You wouldn't have your job if you weren't beautiful, it's very sad. It must be a pretty picture you'd drop in John and I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face. She's gotten a little bit large. But this is somehow another low. What the president did here is he spat in the face of society's attempts to desperately right the wrongs of the past, of the effort made to condemn sexual assault, to embolden women to speak up against and speak out against their harassers, to change the cultural normality that has long made excuses for objectifying women. And here, this coward sits behind his phone like a clubhouse keyboard gangster, diminishing the work of a smart, successful, powerful magna cum laude graduate from Dartmouth as nothing more than someone who would use their sexuality for campaign donations. This is exactly the reason why sexual assault remains one of the most underreported crimes in America, because of guys like this. Here he is, in this example, wasting no time slut shaming a senator. Imagine what he threatened those who don't have a platform with. Oh wait, we don't have to imagine. He has shamed them at every chance possible also. Now we all know nothing unnerves Trump more than an empowered woman, but this tweet is so disgusting, it's not just sexually suggestive, it constitutes sexual harassment all by itself. And if you talk in third person, you're just a next level wanker, let's put that out there. But the saddening thing is, it won't spark anything more than a couple comments from the outer fringe of the GOP. And then back to business as usual. The Republican Party couldn't give two access Hollywood tapes about women, or how their party members treat women, as long as the tax cuts for those flying the jets pass and Obamacare is eradicated. Trump insinuating a senator trades sex for donations is just another smokescreen they can pretend to be outraged in front of, so that they're there are fewer eyes on the goings-on behind it when Mitch McConnell removes the safety net of millions of low-income Americans in return for extra pocket change for the guys in Rolls Royces. The foul creatures, foul party, foul leader. Nothing new. Follow me on Instagram at Francis M. Maxwell and on Twitter also at Francis M. Maxwell. Like and share the video. Continue to resist.